better weather. Way haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Way haul away, we'll haul and sing together. Way haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. I wish I was back in Ireland, a digging turf and taties. Way haul away, we'll I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, I come from a modern society where, where all these, everything is fast. Fast phones, fast cars, fast this, fast trains. And and then just to be traveling in a way they used to travel for hundreds and hundreds of years and knowing that it'll take me days to get to my next port, which would normally take hours to drive to or, or you know, to fly to. And it's, it, it's actually a very comforting feeling, a very peaceful, tranquil feeling, just kind of going along. Everything just slows down. Our purpose is education. We want to show kids a brief window into the life of a sailor, a life of a crew member on board a ship like that. The hard work that it took, the resolve that it took, the uh, efforts that were put forward, and the lifestyle. And education is our primary function. We do a lot of other things to uh, make that possible, but our number one goal is to teach students. Me, ho! Me, ho! Me, ho! Me, ho! So, we're going to talk about the life of a sailor. How old do you think you have to be to be no, a sailor? Not any age? So you can be two years old climbing aloft? Oh, good one. 20, 20. Hey, sheets are well. How do you die? Are we ready on braces? It's very significant that um, children can not just read about things or watch them, but actually come aboard and do it themselves and experience it. I mean, just it's part of who we are, who, where we came from, our history. So, you know, anything like that that you can keep alive for future generations, I think is really important. They won't forget this. This will be something they'll remember. And I wouldn't be surprised if they would want to come do something else like this again. So. It's an opportunity to, to see places from a perspective that not many people get to see it from. You get to see, uh, say, San Francisco, not as a tourist, but as a guy who works here. You come to San Francisco and you basically are a tourist, but you're automatically in because you're not here just visiting, you're here working. And you, you meet people who take you into the city and you go anywhere in the world and you meet people and they take you places and you're automatically welcome. It definitely gave me a lot of self-confidence. Really, it helped me realize what it is in me that I can actually do. Like being told that you're exceptional is one thing. Being able to prove it to yourself is something else. Being told that you uh, you have what it takes to, to make it in life and actually doing it are two different things. And Talkship shows you in an extreme situation that it doesn't take much to make it as long as you're as long as you have the will and you have the desire and attitude. You can you can do just any about anything you want.